Hey guys, so this is the Vex3 any percent world record of 753. Uh, I broke the previous world record of 758 by Daedalus, which he had for a few days. But uh, I figured I would do post commentary over this because there's a ton of new strats found, like in almost every single level. And also, I can give a quick recap of the world record kind of progression. Um, it's this game's only been a sped ran, speed ran. For this year, so it started in like February, Daily has got a 951, and then he brought it all the way down to like 852, and then I started playing the game, I got a 843, I think, man, I hope this is not incorrect, I should really research these things, but yeah, then he broke it with the 825, then I broke it with the 819, he broke it with the uh, 758, and then this is the current world record of 753. Um, I'm gonna be done with uh, any percent for ever, so I have that to look forward to. Uh, my sum of s is actually a 744 because one of the golds is kind of fake because sometimes the loading in this game can be random and it can save you like a false second. And I got that in one of my PBs and golded, so I couldn't really delete it. So. Yeah, um, there's still about 10 seconds, 9 seconds to save in this game, but I'm not going to bother trying to optimize it that far. All of the new strats are pretty difficult. I don't think they make anything really easier, so it's it's fairly it's fairly difficult. Um, so the new strats. Um, there were new strats in Act 2. I don't know if you saw, but I reset after about 1 second. For some reason, that changes the cycles to where everything lines up really nice, and it saves about 5.5 seconds. So that's pretty good. I mean, there are going to be a ton of new strats when you see that the world record has been improved by 50 seconds over the previous video that I posted on YouTube. So that's cool. Um, there's also a new strat in Act 4, which is just reset right at the beginning. And that allows you to make this cycle on the top saws, which saves 3 seconds. So that's cool. Also, there are warps. So from Act 2 to Act 1, it saves you having to bounce on the yellow thing. Oh, small mistake there. I actually got shot by that cannon, but I luckily I got that checkpoint. It cost me, I think, one and a half seconds. Not a huge deal, but somewhat disappointing. Since this did PB, I did get the fast strat, though, so I was pretty happy. See you right there. That's new, and that's uh, cool. And also, you can warp after Act 4 to Act 1 as well, and that saves about one and a half seconds. Um, the warp from Act 2 to 1 only saves like half a second. So, I'm just estimating, I think I could have made that cycle of saws, by the way, I don't know why I waited, but it's very tight, I don't know, Dalius does some different strat, I don't know, anyway, so you can see the warp here, it, and then, I don't I'm honestly surprised that this saves so much time, but it does, so that's cool. Unfortunately, it added menuing into this game, and I am terrible at menuing, so it's not exactly the best game for me, I guess. Um, so Act 5 is pretty much the same. Uh, oh, one thing I did find out in this game is that when you mash down, you can actually fall farther than if you just were to hold down. So it makes this part a little bit easier if you just mash down there. And that's cool. Um, I was racing against a gold, so I lost time. Act 6 was... It's pretty much the same. It just got a little bit more optimized. Um, if you play the beginning right, you can make... The earlier cycle on the saws up above and then if you play everything perfectly you can make an earlier cycle on the like spinning ninja star things i never know what to call those but yeah um this was actually really good act six normally i don't get this fast strat all the time but that's cool it said there was 1.71 seconds to save but i eh, i never save that much time i don't even know how i got that gold X7 though. X7 is completely different. Uh, Daily has found this really cool uh, clip into this slant. Slants are like really janky in this game for some reason, so um, that's not like super surprising that I found something with it. But you just clip right through the wall, and it's like the easiest clip ever. You literally hold right, and you just clip into the wall, and then you hold left, and he just goes through it. It's You don't die or anything. It's super easy. You just have to jump right there, and then look at that. It's it's so cool. I mean, it kind of helps because it made things a little more consistent for me, and I don't die to that blind saw jump that or blind cannon into the saw jump, which is so stupid. There's a few like blind things in this game. Also, I didn't realize this, but if you press up 
to launch yourself out of the cannon, and then you hold nothing, it actually shoots you farther than if you're just holding up after you shoot yourself out of the cannon. So, I mean, that's somewhat helpful. Helpful? Dude, a new word, sweet. I somehow golded that, I don't actually know how. Um, you can actually make an earlier cycle on the final uh, spinning saw things that probably would have saved like at least half a second. So that really shouldn't have been a gold. Act 8, another new strat. Um, well, actually, I don't know if it's new, but we started implementing it. It's Fast Act 8. There's like three levels of fastness in this uh, thing. The previous one was like six seconds behind. I used to use a semi-fast strat, but semi-safe. It was really easy, and that would save three seconds over that. But this one also saves three more seconds over that, so, you know, it's six-second time save. Um, I do it differently than Dalius because I actually don't know how Dalius does it. He does a weird thing. But either way, it saves about uh, six seconds over the previous 843 that I had. The only reason I lost 1.7 seconds is because I had a fast loading time in the previous PB. I don't know how that happened. I just got super lucky. And I PB by like 0.1 seconds too. So that fast load actually caused the PB. Um, Act 9, again, super optimized. Like, you can't make any mistakes or you don't make the cycle. And Dailies... I, don't, I mean, he does something different as well. I don't know, I keep comparing my stress to Dalius, but, I mean, we use... We get pretty much the same times on all these acts. If you play everything perfectly here, you can actually make this cycle. You can see that key grab is super tight. Um, and it allows you to get a 38 on this level. Um, I think I actually got a 39 because I hesitated for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and then Vexation, again... Actually, no, there was a new strat, it's the reset thing again, where if you reset at like a certain time, you can make things re go really well. Um, I actually played Vexation safe, because I was like, holy crap, dude, I just saved 15 seconds on that level, I'm 13 seconds ahead of my PB. Technically, I could have gotten a 750, maybe even a sub 750, but uh, yeah, if you do that slide, which is actually pretty precise, you can also skip a cycle that saw. Also, I took it safe on those uh, spinning ninja things again. You can actually jump immediately if you want to, but I was super nervous. And I was, you know, not trying to do anything stupid. I, pretty, I almost messed up right there. That would have been really bad. Um, that jump is actually a lot easier than I thought. I used to just mash up, but it turns out you can just, you know, press up when you get near the wall and boom, you do it. I took a safe here. You can make that cycle if you're really good. I'm not, so I played safe. And, I was, and then this part is just uh, timing and everything goes well. And I lost, uh, what, how much time? Four seconds on Vexation? I don't care. Uh, 7.53 is a pretty good time, and I'm happy with it. I'll probably do some 98% speedruns next. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. See ya.